So all week long, we've introduced you to the five Duval County Teacher of the Year finalists. So today, our final one, Charles McLuyo, or as his students call him, Mr. M. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he's uh, wiping his head, maybe a little sweat, heart palpitating. A high school science teacher at Jean Rebo High School, and this was a very emotional moment. I can see it. So, Mr. M joining us via Zoom. So excited for you. Obvi hey there. Obviously, the students love it. Um, you know, let's talk a little bit about what you do. You're a teacher here in Duval County. Been here for four years, an anatomy and physiology teacher. You were also named after the scientist Charles Darwin. A little bit of kismet here. Sorry, I can't hear you. That's, that's a, I mean, I, I love that you were named that and then you actually became a scientist. Yes, actually, it's a destiny. And uh, my mother and I did never had a casual talk about how I was named. But I am very happy that I ended up with that name and I'm now the teacher of the year with a science um, title. Yeah, talk to me. I mean, we have some video I love to show of you kind of working with the students, presenting projects in class. I mean, that is a big deal. Students, for them to grasp science, to get excited about it, to present in front of their other peers. Um, talk to me a little bit about your love for science and how you kind of implant that in those kids. Actually, I feel deep satisfaction and um, fulfillment, not just when my students get a high score, but more when they step out from their comfort zone, step up and take risks inside the classroom because my rally as a teacher is not just to, um, to get them into a higher level of academic status, but also to increase their level of confidence, their character to be successful in life. Um, um, as a teacher, I think about building not just students who are strong in mind, but also in character. Because I think those two things, mind, being strong in mind and character, makes my student successful, not just in school, but also in real life. Yeah, you know, you're an exchange teacher from the Philippines. You also bring yes, that um, to the table as well. Um, you also help other teachers to make sure that they have a smooth transition when they come from other countries. Um, why is that so important? I mean, I think culture, you know, you talk about teaching that whole student, it's, it all goes into that same barrel and just creates an amazing kid. Actually, um, that is because I believe in the strong idea of diversity, that when you learn from different people from different parts of the world, you get to improve whatever you have in this table. And that is um, the reason why I get into the teacher exchange program, because I want to learn as well from different people here in the USA. And also, I look forward that they learn from me as well. And luckily, that I got the platform now to introduce the idea that you know, people from different parts of the world can help each other out in, in increasing the education into a higher level. All right, Charles Darwin, so wonderful to talk with you. I, I obviously can see that your students love you. I'm wishing you the best of luck tomorrow. We're going to be so together, much. so we'll hang out. And Thanks for having nervous. me here. Thank oh, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. I don't know the winner, which I love every year because it's always a surprise for me. So hopefully you'll be watching tomorrow. It truly is inspirational. It's the 35th annual Eddie Awards live on Saturday. It starts at 8 o'clock, and we will name that winner live on air. You can watch it on News for Jacks. You can watch it at News for Jax Plus, newsforjax.com, really just a celebration of all the good work that is going into our schools and just the outcome is tremendous with our students.